first. Israel's prime minister says Iran made a, quote, big mistake when it launched dozens of missiles into his country, further increasing the risk of an all-out regional war. Oh, God. Okay, guys, we got to get off the roof. These are coming down right next to us here. They're coming down. One just yeah, about. Go we got to go inside. Ground-shaking explosions were felt in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Israel says its air defenses intercepted most of the missiles, though some did get through. It reports some injuries on the ground, but it has not been specific. Iran says the vast majority of the missiles did hit their targets. In a statement, Tehran cited the killings of three top militant leaders as a reason for the attack. The strikes come a day after Israeli defense forces announced ground operations in southern Lebanon had begun. Israel says there will be a response. John Hernandez has more on the fear Israelis and Iranians in B.C. feel for their loved ones. Every friend that I have in Israel was in a bomb shelter. Vancouver Rabbi Dan Moskovitz has been wrestling with fear and worry, watching from afar as Iran launched missiles into Israel. It made me feel guilty for being in the safety and security of here in Canada. It made me feel grateful for uh, the IDF and the missile defense system uh, that is keeping them safe. Moskovitz among local faith leaders condemning the strike, which comes at the start of the Jewish High Holy Days and one year after the Hamas-led attacks on Israel. Of course, we are thinking about it being almost a year exactly to October 7th and the most horrendous uh, and, and deadly attack on the Jewish people since the Holocaust. Iran's missile launch is in retaliation for Israel's campaign against Tehran's Hezbollah allies in Lebanon. While there have been no reported deaths from the missile strike, there are mounting concerns it could lead to further violence. Many people that they are in Isfahan have been moved to different cities across Iran because they know that attack will imminent. Vancouver Iranian refugees Bayezad Muradabi and Yassi Bayani fear for their families back home as Israel has vowed to retaliate. I believe that this is an attack both on the people of Israel as well as people of Iran because we know that the war will start and this is horrifying for me. Retaliation that onlookers warn would only destabilize the region further. They could retaliate really big times and if they do, Iran will retaliate in, on much bigger scales. Canadian officials say they unequivocally condemn the missile strike and are calling on both sides to avoid an all-out war. We need to make sure that there's no escalation. Of course, Israel needs to be able to protect itself, and that's why we'll continue to support its security. Calls for de-escalation echoed by members of Israeli and Iranian communities here in hopes of stopping any further violence. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.